Hey guys, it's Dan Gage back again, September 2010. I'm sorry my YouTube videos have been few and far between lately. Um, recently moved from San Diego to North Carolina in July, and um, in October we're going to be moving again um, to, a, to a new house. We're sort of doing a temporary thing, so everything's in boxes. Don't know where all my harmonicas are. Don't know where my video camera, my tripod, I'm, I'm borrowing a video camera. Everything is just chaos in my life right now. So despite that, I've been thinking about making this video for some time and practicing it when I have a chance and I wanted to put it out there so you guys don't um, totally forget about me. So uh, I don't remember when it was, maybe a year ago, we did a box shuffle video um, complete with tabs, tabbed out for the for all, all the three chords, one, four, five of the blues. This is a different variation of the same pattern. The cool thing about this is that it's the same notes, just in a different order. And it took me some time to kind of break myself of the habit and try to, and you know, I might still make a mistake. This is like my, my seventh take of this video because I keep mixing up the patterns, but that's the, that's the fun of it. Um, it is a good challenge, I think, for you guys, the intermediate, and even for like you know more advanced guys, if that's what you you know maybe call me. So what we did before was a box shuffle that went from the root to the octave and came back down. It went. And you can watch that video, and I do the whole thing. So this one goes starts at the root and then goes up the scale or up the pattern to to the octave. So in the case of the one chord, and you'll hear guitar players, you'll hear this groove a lot in both both directions. Um, you know, they call it a box shuffle because of the guitar pentatonic box. And you'll hear guys talk about it as an uptown or a downtown or up and down. And I I don't know if it's inverse. I, I can never remember because I don't think like a guitar player, but you know, have somebody explain to you which one is which one is which or what the term is. So you know when the guys call it out or when you want to call it out you can get it. So let's get into the details, okay? One chord starts on two draw, goes to four draw, five draw, six blow, okay? So one, it goes or slower, you know, and you play each note twice to get that groove. So two draw, four draw, five draw, six blow. Then it goes to the four chord, of course, you know, after, after four times through, four measures through, we go to the four chord, one blow, two draw. And you know, you can always play three blow instead of two draw, but I like two draw. Three draw bent a half step. And my bends are not awesome right now because I haven't been practicing enough. Been focusing on the new job and focusing on moving, you know, the music will come back. So I understand you guys that you say you don't have time to practice because trust me, when things get chaotic, it's really hard to find the time, but maybe find 10 minutes, 20 minutes like I do. I do it in the car on the way to work, so at least I can keep some semblance of ability on this thing. So four chord, one blow, two draw, three draw and a half step. Something like, something like that. My intonation is not great. Four blow. Okay, and then the five chord, one draw, three draw bent a whole step. <laughs> and this is the hardest part of this entire pattern for me anyway, going straight from one draw to three draw bent a whole step and trying to hit that in tune. And I'm working on it, I'm practicing it. Maybe it's not as good, but, but you guys get the idea. This is the, this is the challenge, I think, of this lick. So one draw, three draw bent a half step, a whole step. So the four chord has a half step bend, the five chord has a whole step three draw bend, okay? That's the key to remembering, even if I keep misspeaking and having to redo the video. And hopefully this is the last time I do this video. Uh, okay, so one draw, four blow. So one draw, three draw, whole step, four blow, four draw for the five chord. I want to just keep playing the pattern, guys. I'm not going to stop. This video is going out. 
Okay, once more on the five chord. Okay, so again, one draw, three draw whole step, four blow, four draw. So the whole pattern played together, see if I can pull it off. From the, starting from the one chord, 12 bar blues, alternate box shuffle. Okay, so one more cool thing about this pattern is that you can mix it up. So we learned the other box shuffle, right? So what I can do, and this is something that I'm still working on, and basically, you know, just entertaining myself because I don't have a band anymore or anything else. But um, we'll get that going. We'll meet some people. Don't worry. Because you can play the pattern and you can mix up the two um, and get a really cool effect. So it's I do it something. Let's see if I can pull it off now that I'm thinking about it. So here we go. Okay, so I messed up a little bit. And it's something that's like a work in progress. So I was only sort of alternating between the two on the one chord, but you get the idea. Try the lick, play with the lick. Um, you know, it's a cool groove. You know, guitar players, bass players will want to play different box shuffles. So now if you, if you get this, I'll put the tab up. I forgot to mention, but it's a C harp. Um, we're playing it in the key of G with a C harmonica. One time more through one, one chord is two draw. Four draw, five draw, six blow. Four chord is one blow, two draw, three draw, half step, four blow. Five chord is one draw, three draw bent, a whole step, four blow, four draw. Okay, there it is with your box shuffle. So, sorry guys if um, my YouTube videos don't come very often, life is chaotic. Um, I've got a great video coming up hopefully by the end of the year. I'm going to look at different harmonicas. Um, I get so many questions about harmonicas so I bought some and uh, we're going to take a look at you know differences, pros and cons and it should be a really cool, really informative thing for you guys um, as soon as I can figure out where those harmonicas are. That's really what it boils down to. Um, but one of those harmonicas I really like is a Honor crossover. This one's in G and I just, I just really dig it so um, I'm going to play for about 30 seconds. Thank you guys for writing. Uh, I keep writing even if I'm not making videos. If my responses seem a little tense, it's because I'm stressed to the gills. Um, just bear with me. Just thank you guys. You really uh, make my day when, when, you, when you get things or when, you, when, when something I do helps you. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Keep watching, keep commenting, and I'll see you hopefully soon once things settle out. <laughs>